you know, I've been struck at this meeting by the, the incredible advances being made in information technology, and certainly living in the Bay Area, we experience that uh, very directly. But I think uh, what's really interesting to me is that there's a parallel explosion going on in biology right now, and that's really what I want to talk to you about this morning, a, a technology that is enabling manipulation of the information that controls biological systems that I think you'll see very nicely parallel some of the things that we've heard about uh, earlier in the meeting. So uh, to, to kick this off, you know, this is really a, a technology that is about rewriting the language of life, rewriting the DNA that controls the cells, organisms uh, that we see around us and, and, and that are us. And, um, and it really begins with thinking about the way that information is stored in biological systems. So unlike in computers where we store information electronically, ones and zeros, in biology, information is stored chemically. It's stored in the form of DNA. And this is, the, this is showing you the beautiful structure of DNA, the double helix that was discovered back in the 1950s. And in fact, when I was growing up in Hawaii, I was growing up in a rural town in Hawaii. Nobody in my family was a scientist. But the way I got turned on to biology was by reading a book my dad gave me about the discovery of the structure of DNA, and I was so amazed by the fact that scientists could do experiments to understand the structure of a molecule that that's actually what got me excited about going into biochemistry and structural biology. Um, so, you know, when we look at the structure like this, uh, th this is basically showing how information is stored in the form of letters of DNA. You know that D you might know that DNA has four letters, and the thing that makes it so useful for storing information is that the letters pair with other letters to form the double helix, and that's how information can be replicated accurately and stored for future generations. Now, um, ever since the discovery of the structure of DNA, scientists have been thinking about how they could manipulate that molecule, how we could synthesize it, how we could, we could uh, make copies of it, and also how we could change it. Could you actually alter the information inside of a cell in a way that would allow manipulation of that information very precisely? It sounds uh, sort of like science fiction. Um, but the idea really was, could you have, could you really create some kind of an editor for DNA? Mm -hmm.